Okay, guys, we're back on the ignition switch. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can pop. I believe it's this back green and you can get to the contacts. I checked it with a multimeter. Everything seems okay. Nothing's jumping out, but I did have that one issue with uh, the one pin where it was a higher resistance. Um, now, it shouldn't affect it, but maybe it is. I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it apart, check the pins anyway, or contacts, and we're gonna see. So I believe you gotta pop this back piece off here. So from everything I was reading, you can carefully pop it apart, I guess, with a screwdriver. Like so. And just hear it snap. So that's all we want to try to do. Let's go get the other ones popped off because you got three sides. So we're going to go ahead and pop the next side loose. And we're going to work around. Let's see if I can get them popped off without breaking anything. So I want to put the switch back together and put it back in the car. That's my game plan. Back to this side, maybe I need to pop this one up a little bit more. Okay, that seems to be loose. Let's go back here. Let's do that a little bit more. And there we go. And I believe there are springs in there, so we don't want to launch any if we can help it. You just kind of want to work it around and pop it loose. And work it up. Getting it. And there we go. Okay. There we go. So that's how you guys can see it. So it looks like we gotta pop this out, which is that pin A that I was talking about before, which slides in that way. Set the one down, just like that for now. And we're gonna take this other one out, like so. And we're gonna just set that one there. So, I'll show you guys the contacts. And let's see here if I can get this in a light where you guys can see. And we do have a couple burned contacts. Got that one. That one's got a little tiny spot. That one's okay. And that one there is burned. That one looks okay. Um, we got the contacts down there, but I guess they're okay. They look okay, as best I can tell. If I want to. I guess they're okay, but you guys can actually watch now. You can see what I was saying with pins going up and down. So that is off. I can take the key out. So let's put the key back in. So that is off. You can see they're all up. When I turn it to uh, accessory, you can see two pins go down. When I turn it on... You can see there, five of the pins are down. And when I start, you can see two pins come up. One pin goes down. So, now let's set that down. Let's look at the other contacts that are on the other part of it all. Let's try not to lose any pieces. 
So this sits on top there, this is loose. And that goes against the plastic cover. So we're gonna flip this back over here. Oops, I'm sorry guys. I was out of the, completely out of view. You see that contact? I got my camera for, or closer to me than what I, I'm used to doing. So you can see that contact there is burned. Now the switch did have good resistance when I was checking it, you guys seen that. But I do have some burned contacts which would affect stuff. So you can see there, that one. That one's just got a tiny little speck. So we're gonna go ahead and um, try to polish them as best I can without damaging them. So I'm gonna go find some good sandpaper and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I got some really fine sandpaper. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to polish these up a little bit and see if I can get these a little bit cleaner. I'm just gonna lightly try to knock the burn spot down. just taking it some people have used uh, pencils and they cut a little square out and glue it on the pencil so you can do it that's a good idea um i don't have any glue i can use on a pencil so so i'm not gonna do that um i might end up having to go out and go get some though that might be something i'll have to do because i don't know how i'm going to get the ones in there so i'd have to go find some That's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to go through and just kind of sand them, and uh, I'll go from there. Okay, guys, I've gone through. I cleaned it up pretty well. I mean, you could still see a tiny little divot in it, but I don't think I'm going to get the divot out unless I really get some abrasive, pa a abrasive paper to do it. So I think that should be pretty good. I mean, like I said, I wasn't actually having an issue with it, so we're going to go ahead and try to clean these up. You can see how that one's really burnt. So, and when I say burnt, what I'm looking at there is, whoops, sorry guys, right there. See how that's all really screwed up in that spot? So I'm going to go ahead and clean it. I'm going to also clean this one because you can see one little burn spot on it. So, but like I said, surprisingly, only one of these had high resistance. I had, uh, I think one ohm and one. So I don't know if that's causing my issue with everything else I got going on or not. But this doesn't hurt to do. So we're going to go ahead and do it. And with my drawing, when I was saying pin A, you could see how it all connects up. That is attached to that, which is attached to that. So that's how it all works. Okay, guys, as you guys can see, I cleaned it up. You could still see a couple little divots in this one, too. I'm not terribly worried about it. I would like them to be nice and smooth. But you got to remove too much material to remove the little pits in there i mean they're just tiny little pits you can see on the very edge of it so the whole thing here is what you're trying to do is clean it up get rid of the high spots so then hopefully it'll start landing on the rest of this in here instead of just that tiny little spot that's the game plan so you want to try to sand it smooth it'd be nice if you could if you know when doing it put this on something flat you can run that over something flat so a flat hard surface that you know is flat so okay guys as you guys can see i got these two pins their contacts there cleaned up so what i did to do it is you can see right now with the key on the the push-up pins are up so i turned the key to on which reduces them pins down so then i can get in there and sand them I'm going to do the same over here on these guys. I'm going to go ahead and do that one. As you guys can see how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that one up. Then I'm going to do that one. And I'm just going to do that one lightly just to make sure. There's really no burn on that one. But I'm going to do that one. Okay, guys. I got them cleaned up as best I can with what I had. They look pretty good. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put this back together and uh, see if I can get it back together. That's, that's gonna be the game plan there. That one goes there. That one goes there. So they go like that. Let me set in there. Then they go through this like that. So what I might do is I might just set them down there, slide them in first. So it sits in there, sits in there. So that way the pins are in there. So as you guys can see, the three go through, I forget which one I had A and B, but they go through like that. And that's why you can only get contact through three of them on the one pin and two on the other because they're two separate things. Um, so now we got that back in, we can go ahead and take this and that just goes like that. And then you just push it down and make sure all the clips are locked like that. Snap, snap, and that looks almost locked. Let's just make sure that side's locked. Yeah, it does appear to be. We don't want it to pop apart in the car. I don't know if that side is locked. We'll see. I'll try to push it some more. There we go. Now it's locked. So when checking, you can look and make sure these are about even with the side of the case. Like so. Switch seems to still work, so that's good. So I'm going to set this down. I'm going to go find my multimeter and my sheet from earlier. And we're going to double check and make sure I have continuity through all the pins like we did before. Hopefully I'll have a better continuity and I won't have a ohm or two ohms or whatever resistance on some of them. Okay guys, I am back. I got my drawing, I got my multimeter, and I got my keyed switch. We're going to that start. So we're going to have it on on. Because that's my main concern. So we're going to check one and three and see if we got continuity between one and three which one should be that one and three should be that one and we got point four point three point four point three so that's good so let's check four and five four and five, oops. Let's see if I can get a good. So we got point four between point three, point four between four and five. So that's good. So now let's check pin A to four and five. So pin A is this one. So we're gonna go ahead and check pin A to that. Point four. So that's pretty good. That's 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Okay. I like that. Let's check pin 5, which is that one. So we got 0.4, Fraga 0.3. So that's good. That's better than what we had yesterday because we were getting 6 to, to an ohm on them. So now let's check pin B, which is this one, 2, 1, and 3. So 1 is this which we got 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So let's check one, which should be, I think, this one. Whoops, let's get a good grab on it. So 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So we're good there. So, so we got good resistance, where the other day, I think on one of them, we had almost an ohm or a little bit over an ohm. Um, so let's go ahead and put it on accessory, which is one click back. And we're gonna check one and four. One, one and four, one. Which it should be the same because we've already checked one and four. Or no. So, okay, so pin 
let's say that again because you won't have continuity on one and four because they're on two different arms but we could check a to four which my pin a is that to pin four So right there, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, meh. So that's not bad. It just changes the switch around. So pin B to 1, pin B to 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. I can probably move them around in here and get better. So we got good resistance. So let's go ahead and check start. Um, so 2 and 1, we should be able to check on start. Start's not the easiest thing to check. It's kind of hard to see that there. We're going to move that a little bit. Okay, so we could check pin A to 5. Pin A to 5, which is the middle pin here. 0 0.4, 0 0.3. So we're, we're good on that. So let's check pin B to two and one. Pin B to two. I'm sorry, it's a little bit difficult doing this all one-handed. Because you can't get your fingers in there and you're trying to hold two probes. I should have brought my test leads here. Pin. B to one to one. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Nee. I don't know why we got that going on, but it's probably because I'm not holding the meters good. So let's just go ahead and check one and see what I get on one. Or not one, two. Let's go two. Let's go pin B to two. If I had an extra set of hands right now, it would be so nice. There we go. 0.4. There we go. Okay, so now that's uh, pin B to 1. We got 0.4. Let's go pin B to 2. Pin B to 2 is 0.4. So let's check pin A to 5 again. Pin A to 4. Five. Oops. Pin A to five. Point four. So we got a lot better reading than what we had yesterday on all the pins. Now, will this fix my ABS problem? Probably not. But some people were saying ignition switches can cause them. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put it back together and give it a try and see if it fixes the problem so we know we got good continuity through the switch now so maybe it will maybe it won't maybe i was running into an issue where the system was coming online drawing the voltage and it couldn't keep up the voltage that it needed um because of the high res high resistance of an amp or, or an ohm in it i should say so it should still theoretically work with that but who knows, maybe something else was screwy, I don't know. But we got both of them fixed. They're gonna go get put back in the car and we're gonna try it and see. Guys, if you like my projects like this, with this car, please like, subscribe, follow, comment. I'd love to see it, share. Um, you know, I wanna see my channel grow and without you guys, it won't grow. So thank you for the support and uh, keep an eye out for future projects.